Hey, this is Doc Eric. Welcome to my YouTube neighborhood, the channel where we give you one mindset tip and one body set tip to take with you not only throughout today's video, but also later in life as well. Today, we're gonna to be talking about shoulders and all things shoulders and how to take care of our shoulders. So let's jump in. So a lot of us are sitting at home these days and what we're finding is a lot of people are developing issues and pain spots that they typically didn't have before. And this is typically due to a routine change where we're in fixed positions a lot longer than we would prefer to be in. But sometimes the jobs that we do and the responsibilities that we have to do at home uh, supersede our body's ability to uh, allow us to take care of ourselves. And that's becoming a problem, meaning people are reporting more and more pain and a lot of people don't know where to turn in terms of taking care of those key issues, which is the purpose of today's video. So when we talk about mobilizing the tissues and taking care of our soft tissues, what we're looking at is how can I take a muscle or an area that feels tight and give it a little bit of relief or pliability in order to kind of restore some of that range of motion. So one of the things that we look at are things like a lacrosse ball, right, which is this little guy here. We also look at things like foam rollers, which are these guys here, and they come in different sizes and different densities. Essentially what we're looking at is we're looking to take a tissue that has become tight and short and lost its ability to support the body and we want to take muscle tissues that have actually been stretched a little bit too long and start to tighten those up and that's where home care exercises comes into place. So there's a phenomenon that we like to talk about when we describe how to uh, assess and look at uh, pain and posture into the neck and the upper back and the shoulders and that's a term that we like to call upper cross syndrome. Upper cross syndrome is a case where you have tissues that are too tight tight on one side of the body and they become lengthened and weak on the opposite side of the body. And we're gonna throw up a photo in just a second just so that you can see what it looks like. So when we look at this photo, we can see that the person has rounded shoulders, everything is slouched forward and the head is protruding forward as well. Now if we look, we can actually see a grid, an X pattern that kind of goes across the body, top to bottom one side and top to bottom the other side forming an X. What we see is the pec muscles, which are in the front of the chest, are tight. We will call those tight muscles. When we look at the muscle tissues in the opposite upper corner, we see the muscle tissues of the upper trapezius also tight as well. So we have tight, and then on the opposite angle, we have tight. When we look at the other angle, we're looking at between the shoulder blades a little bit lower, and that's represented by weakening muscles because the body and the posture is slouching forward. When we look at the head, which is also protruding forward on the opposite and final side of the grid, we see that everything is protruding forward and that too has become a weakened set of tissues. So we have one axis where we have tight and tight, then we have another axis which is represented by weak and weak. So we basically have to get both of these angles to reset by doing a little bit of one and a little bit of the other to take care and balance those tissues. Obviously the way that we wanna address these is to tighten the tissues that have become stretched out and weak, and we wanna lengthen the tissues that have become tight and that need a little bit more relief to go back to the original posture and the original position. So exercises like deep cervical neck flexor exercises, as well as activating the middle and lower trapezius fibers, those are all done with exercises that you can do in the form of pulling based exercises to retract those key areas. And we'll drop a link below with some key videos that I prefer uh, that you guys can look into. That way everything is nice and handled. When it comes to stretching the upper trapezius muscles and the pectoral muscles, we can use that with a lacrosse ball or we can use that with a foam roller. And we'll drop a link below as that as well. So the take home tip is when we're looking at how to take care of our shoulders and our posture, we wanna make sure that you're looking at what environment you're currently in. And is there anything that you can currently do to take the pressure off those key areas? This could come in the form of maybe modifying your workstation. Uh, you could uh, raise your computer if you're using a computer, bring it up a couple of inches. Uh, make sure that you have adequate light in the room that you're currently in, the chair that you're sitting on, is it allow you to sit up nice and tall, or do you find that you're constantly slouching forward and readjusting your position because the chair doesn't accommodate your needs. Also, don't forget to take frequent breaks when you are uh, knowing that you're gonna be sitting for long periods of time because that allows the body to move around a little bit and helps the tissues learn that you're not just stuck in one fixed position because the body learns through adaptation. And if there's no adaptation, the body is going to assume that's gonna be your current default position and those pain spots are only gonna worsen. So the mindset tip and the body set tip today is to assess and evaluate your situation, see what you're doing and how long you're doing it for, and seeing if there's anything that you can do to modify your workstation so you can kind of take the pressure off of that neck, upper, back, shoulder areas to keep everything pain-free. And until next time, stay healthy.